Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and in this video we're going to look at the series where we're trying to get you into the top 5% globally if you follow these instructions. We'll start by looking at how Game Week 20 went and then what we're thinking of doing for Game Week 21 or rather what I'm suggesting you do for Game Week 21. I have been ill this week so if I sound a little bit hoarse you'll know why that is. Also if there are errors in what I'm saying regarding the numbers I'm adding up you can put that down to my brain not being so good this week. This is already the second time I've had to record this because the first time I was working through it and I spotted a mistake and I thought, yeah, I can't cover that mistake up. So here we go. Hopefully this take will be all right. So you should all have the following five bankers. That is to say, you'll all have these five players. Ward, Bueno, Andreas, Trippier and Haaland. The first three all started on your bench. Trippier got nine points. Haaland got eight. Haaland was the captain. So he got 16, so the bankers got a total of 25. I did suggest last week you may want to play your triple captain. I think globally maybe of those engaged managers, maybe a third have played it. So your bankers would have got you an additional 8 points of course. The goalkeeper, you would have played one of these. Edison, Pope, Ramsdale, Kepper. They scored 2, 5, 11, 10. They averaged 7 points between them for your keeper. You'd have had three of these defenders. James, Akanji, Stones, Gabriel, Shaw, Luca Dean, Dallow, White, Castagne. They scored nothing. James didn't play. 2-1-5, 2-1. Nothing for Dallow, 8 for White, 1 for Castagne. We'd like to get 15. We actually only averaged 8.6. This was very disappointing. Uh, where was I? I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> bench players. Right. A lot of managers would have had players coming off the bench. So I'm going to deal with the man the uh, those players separately, the bench players. You'd have all had one of these midfielders. Salah, De Bruyne, Son or Fernandes. They scored 2, 5, 4, 19. That was an average of 7.5 points. You'd have had one of these midfielders. Foden, Saka, Mount, Trossard. They scored 1-6-3. Trossard's completely out of favour of Brighton, of course, because he's looking to move on. The last I read, he is going to Arsenal. How many minutes he's going to get, we don't know yet. He may be an amazing buy. So if you have Trossard, I wouldn't suggest selling him at the moment. But it may be two or three weeks before we know whether or not he's actually worth keeping. He's certainly an excellent player. It's just a case of how they're going to fit him in. So they got an average of 3.3. You would have had one of Barnes, Martinelli, Rashford, Odegaard, Ormeron. They scored 2-2-12-9-3, two, two, which is an average of 5.6. That's okay. We should be happy enough with that. You'd have had one of Kane, Darwin, Tony. Kane got 7. Darwin didn't play. Tony got 9. So that's, of course, an average of 8. And you'd have had one of Mitrovic, Martial, Solanke, who scored... 0, 1 and didn't play. So that's an average of a half. Not so good. And on your bench, you would have had, if you had Bailey, he was first on your bench. Then there was Bueno and then Somerville, Andreas Billing. Your bench would have been three of these players and hopefully in this order. Bailey got 12, Bueno 6, Somerville didn't play, Andreas 2, Billing 2. But a lot of managers would have had at least one person coming off the bench, possibly two. So I've had to... I've accounted a little bit for this. I think I've given um, the average an extra six points off the bench. I suspect it could have been a bit higher than that, but just to get the numbers right, you'll know for yourself what you got, of course. And I have checked the various teams that I'm aware are playing this game and following it. The global average was 59. If you followed this system, you'd have got at least 48. The average you'd have got is 71.4. I've put a plus because you may have triple captained. You may have had a better combination coming off the bench than I actually allowed for. The average of the, I've checked four or five that I know have been strictly following this and they they actually got 71 average between them. So this calculated average is quite good it seems. The maximum was 98 plus because you could have got a triple captain in there. Your bench may have been slightly better. So you're pushing 100 was the best you could have done but obviously 48 is not so good if you picked the worst possible players. 445 subscribers that's very nice thank you very much uh please do like this if you do like this sort of thing or just watching it all to the end would be even more helpful but 
Thanks anyway. So transfers. I'm suggesting we make no transfers this week, even though you may have a couple of players that are flagged or looking unlikely or you think are underperforming. Hopefully before the start of the next game week, game week 23, we will have announcements about double game weeks and blank game weeks. We'll have a better idea where we want to potentially move players around. So I think it's worth holding off for now. So your bench, you put Ward on the bench. If we get the bench right, the other 11 players sort themselves out. So I'm going to show you five players now. And the order I'm showing you, when you see one, that goes into the last position on your bench, then second and first. So you've got Somerville, he goes on your bench. Then Bueno, then Andreas, then Billing, then Bailey. And if you have Bailey, there's a reasonable chance he's going to come on for you, but we'll see how it goes. Captain. I've got a hat somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> no surprise, I'm going to go for Haaland. I know Haaland's not been great recently. A bit of a disappointment perhaps, but I think he's still, given probabilities and stuff, the best person to put that hat on. Man City are at home to Wolves. He could get a very big score. I know anyone could get a very big score, but he could realistically get a good score against Wolves. Obviously, he could blank again. I think we're not going to be keeping on Haaland every week going forward because he's come off the boil a bit and there are some other exciting fixtures and players out there. But for this week, I'm suggesting we stick with Haaland. And then your vice captain, if you have Kane, make him your vice captain. If you don't have Kane but Salah, go for him. If you have neither of those but you have Son, make him your vice. If you have none of those but you have Odegaard, make him your vice. If you have none of those players at all, then put the old mule hat on Trippier. That's the vice captain. <laughs> Hopefully that made sense. That was really difficult for me putting all that together because I'm feeling so below par. I hope you have a good week 21, uh, game week 21. And thanks for watching. Bye.